Hey, this is Seth at Music Teachers Muse. Tune in Friday's PST at midnight for new episodes. See you there. Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to discuss how important it is to learn additional instruments besides the main instrument that you teach. So you'll notice I'm holding a bass. For the record, this is the only Indonesian-made instrument I ever have or will ever own because it was affordable and I needed it because I had a student that wanted to learn how to play the bass. And with my employee Guitar Center discount, this thing has more than paid for itself since then. So that is definitely a big plus. But let's get into the pros and cons. Actually, there's no cons to this, really. So uh, other than having to learn an instrument that you're not as passionate about, that's the only con I can think of, because we're going to get into the ukulele. And you don't have to learn the instruments on, you don't have to be necessarily really good at them. You just have to learn them on a basic level. The first pro is you, you get more students, you get more money. Uh, good example of one of our guys at Guitar Center, he was only a bass teacher until he started teaching guitar. He barely had any students because bass... Let's just face it, it's not as anywhere near as popular of an instrument. Um, and this is, people just don't want to learn it as much. So until he actually started teaching guitar as well, then I believe Uke is in addition to that. I can't remember. But he ended up getting a, a couple of full days of work out of that versus, you know, two or three students per day instead of he'd have 10 or 12 after a while. So that worked out really well for him. And it's worked out well for me too. The other instruments that at least in my experience, you know, you, of course I play only stringed instruments except for piano or keyboards. Now I can barely play piano, like seriously. Uh, but I, I teach absolute beginner piano, beginner bass and beginner ukulele in addition to guitar, beginner through advanced. It's, it's not been that difficult and actually can be kind of fun because you just learn something different. And it is one company that hired me years ago to teach for them. They're like, it's all music. If you're already accomplished on one instrument, you shouldn't have that much trouble learning another one as long as you just put a little effort in. And it's really that easy to do. Uh, you have to spend a little bit more money. But again, like this base, I think, with my in, with my employee discount cost me not even 200 bucks, And I have made way more than that having used it for the couple of base students that I've had. So that it's self-explanatory. The main thing that you want to take away from because if you're if you're skeptical or you know nervous about learning another instrument, it's just like with your main instrument, whether you teach piano, guitar, bass, you mandolin, whatever it is, that the student learns something and have fun. Because as we know, if you've been watching for any length of time, most of your students don't take this very seriously. So it's not something that you have to be really proficient at to get some benefit out of it. And most of them don't practice or don't practice anywhere near as much as you even recommend they do. So they're not going to make leaps and bounds in progress. Now, I will say currently, of course, I'm teaching a whole lot less now and have for the last year because of COVID. But most of the students I have right now, actually, they're making really great progress. But uh, other than a couple of them, they've been with me for a while. But, um, you know, so they've put the effort in. But the majority of your students... Not that they don't make progress, but we know they just generally don't practice or with any degree of consistency or regularity. So don't sweat it if you don't ever get super good at it. And you, you shouldn't be expected to because your primary instrument, like I have a performance degree in guitar. I have essentially taught myself to play bass, piano, and uke without too much instruction. Uh, actually, I've, I've never paid for a lesson on any of them. But that brings me to the next part. Skill of having a music training and theory will help you learn these other instruments. Like on bass, you know, you can't play chords. You can play intervals, but, you know, if I play... Sounds kind of cool, but... But the pitches are so low, you usually don't hear... From what I understand about bass, or from what I've seen, you don't usually see them playing two notes simultaneously. It's one note at a time. But, you know, if you know your theory and your harmony... You know which notes go over chords, and you know your rhythmic values really well, and you can learn simple songs like ACDC songs, Ramones songs, things like that, 
are super easy to teach on the bass. And if you know your theory well enough, you can just pick it up pretty easy. It's usually, especially if it's rock, it's all root notes. You're not playing thirds or fifths over the over what the guitar is doing. You're just following the root note or whatever the chord is. And it's super, super easy. It just takes some getting used to because it's visually different. Like there's no pickup selector on this bass. I've got two knobs, but there's a smaller knob inside of the big one. So this is a volume, obviously. This is some kind of a... I think that's the pickup selector because I've got three pickups technically. I'm still not entirely sure of what exactly it does. I just know it sounds the way I want it when I turn it. So I'm so I'm going to assume I haven't researched it obviously, but that this one's the volume on either one, and then depending on how far you turn this, you feel it click a little bit, so it selects one or the other. Uh, but it just gives you different tones, and you can blend them. So I've only ever seen one bass with an actual like Strat style selector switch on it, and it was an expensive Music Man one. But that's the only time I've ever seen a bass actually have one that I can remember. So it's, it's different, but. It's actually kind of cool once you get used to it, and it can be fun, especially if you get a student who's really into what they're learning, which is makes your job easier. Uh, with the uke, uh, I personally fucking hate the ukulele. It's an inferior instrument because it is so limited in what you can do with it musically. It is... You only have pitches that go mid to high. It barely has, even has any mid-range. Like, if you have this note... I'm sorry, this note. If you have a low B note on the music staff, you can't play that pitch on the uke. You have to play it an entire octave or two higher just to get the note correct, but it's in the wrong octave. So, but, you know, with the right student, it can be fun. It's easy to, it's generally a lot of people like to go with this first because guitar looks too difficult. Their hands are really small. The, these are nylon strings. And it's just a fun thing to do. And, it can, and I admit, I've had fun playing it before with, with certain students. But generally, the thing is so limited in its ability to do anything after being an accomplished guitarist, it generally just pisses me off. But, you know, I'm in the, I'm in the business of making money through teaching. So, you know, I just suck it up and I just am excited for the student. And again, if you know your theory, like if you've got to play an E minor 7 or something, you can figure it out. So, like, here's your E minor chord. And then we would do, see, this is G, this is tuned G, C, E, A. But if, if you know your theory well enough, I'm not going to even bother trying to find that chord, but you can figure it out. And the same goes with piano. I taught myself how to play piano because I want to have perfect pitch. So I just hear the, I hear the note on the, you know, that's a G, A, E. But, um, so I knew what notes were by pressing the keys. But since I know how to construct chords from my theory knowledge and all that, I taught myself how to play Hey Jude for a video I had to submit to a company who needed to see me be able to play piano before they would book me students. Not that they ever got me any piano students, but I spent a good amount of time on it and it was impressive and they were happy with it. So, and I learned something, so it was okay. I don't like playing piano because... It makes my hands hurt. I'm not used to stretching my, my right hand. I'm stretching this hand for a guitar. Uh, plus, you want to make sure that your elbows are above the keyboard. I was doing it like this because I had my keyboard on an amp stand that was at a 45. So my hands ached like crazy. I had to put Icy Hot on them. So don't do that. But the whole point being, I learned something new on a different instrument. I had to approach it differently. And it made it to where I was able to teach someone on a basic beginner level. And I've made some money at it. Uh, the last, I actually just gave a beater piano lesson last week um, to a very young child, but it was the first time I've done it in a long time. But at my mom and pop store gig at uh, in Inglewood at Dealey and Music, I was there for three and a half years, and I had a few beginner piano students that were young kids. So, you yeah, know, I made some money at it. So that's the whole point of this lesson is just learning it on a basic level is going to help you to make more money and get more students. Knowing how to read music is also a plus. Bass clef is harder for me because I'm a guitarist. It totally throws me off when I have to try to read bass clef, but I can do it. It just takes me a little longer. Other thing that is comforting if you're a little bit ner if you're nervous at all about this part of it is that there's a book for everything. So there's a like one of the last students I had that was a Uke student. We we just got a Disney book that was at the store that had 
theme songs from Pinocchio and Pocahontas and whatever popular animated Disney movies there were and just went with that. And that was sufficient for the student. There was one, Jake Shibuya, or I don't know what his last name is. He's one of these virtuoso ukulele dudes. Had a lot of advanced stuff in it, but there was a, he had a book and I've learned how to play bass largely from a book. I've never had a bass lesson. So teaches the techniques and the fingerings and a little bit of everything. So, and Guitar Center has a, uh, a bass curriculum as well. I was using that book mostly. So you can learn how to do it on a basic level and just follow along with the book and sometimes learn right along with the student. But uh, just don't let them know that. But you do want to let them know that you only teach those instruments on a beginner level. You don't want somebody who needs an advanced bass player to try to learn from you. And, and yeah, it's just, just dishonest. Don't do that. You're going to look like an ass. Um, so the next thing you want to keep in mind is uh, you really only have to know a little bit more than the student to be ahead of them. Just so you know, you can demonstrate that you know what you're doing enough to where it's convincing and and it's not being dishonest about anything, you know. You just literally have this much skill, but you only have to be a little bit better than the student at that level and just keep it up to where they're still advancing. You know, like this week we covered pages 7 through 10 in the book. Next week we're going to do pages 10 through 12. And just, you know, study up a little bit or even like the day of the lesson, just look at it and get familiar with it first so that you know what you're actually doing. But uh, you don't have to you don't have to practice them that hard and and then know also that once that student gets to a certain level of proficiency you're most likely not going to be able to help them anymore and they're going to have to go to someone to get better who's like really proficient at bass or uke or piano or something like that because you can only get them so far but keep in mind that your bread and butter and your main source of income is going to be from students who have never played before you're not going to get too many people who are advanced players most of the time, at least not in my experience. I could, I can count maybe on both hands in almost 20 years of teaching guitar, how many people who are advanced wanted to get better came to me for lessons. It's pretty uncommon. So it does happen. I would love to have more of those kind of students, but they're just nowhere near as common as people who haven't played before and wanted to start because they've been either putting it off for years or it was just something cool they decided they wanted to do. Of course, the last uh, point we're going to cover here is just that it makes you more valuable in the teaching environment where you work. So they know that you, like some people, oh, I didn't know you played ukulele, I didn't know you played bass. It's like, yeah, so make sure that whenever you are advertised in the store or the school you work at that is listed on your profile or wherever they have information about you on their website or at the Guitar Center, it, it has a short bio and just a picture of everybody and uh, whatever they... Uh, teach and play and some music a little bit of musical history like in our our philosophy about teaching and uh so very condensed but you know it just says seth guitar bass ukulele i don't teach piano at guitar center but um because our keyboard guys are are there for that but i could if i had to on a on an absolute beginner level so and that's the main point of this whole entire lesson so let's just recap on the points that i covered real quick so all you need to do is learn, I'd say try to learn at least two additional instruments on a beginner level. Because if you're a guitarist, you're not going to get that many bass students. I only have one bass student right now. I only had a couple at the store uh, or even online after COVID hit. Uh, ukulele is going to be far more popular. So I'd say if you're a guitarist, learn bass and uke. But also try to learn some piano. It's not going to hurt you at all. So learn two or three and then maybe also if you choose to mandolin, but I've never played mandolin, but I could pick it up pretty quickly. It's it's tuned in fifths and there's there's eight total strings, but uh, I've never had to. I've never had anybody request it, but I would definitely be interested if I could get a couple of students out of it. Uh, the main thing is they're popular, especially the uke. Much as I hate the ukulele, hate's not a strong enough word. But uh, as I mentioned, though, it can be fun. It, you're learning something different, and the student is enjoying it. That's the main thing. You're teaching them something that they can benefit from, that they're having fun with. And so you don't have to take it too seriously because they usually don't anyway. But you're both benefiting. You're getting paid, and you're going to make more money because you can get more students. Uh, as long as they are getting that out of it, you're good. 
So next thing to remember is having a basic understanding, at least, of music theory, how to construct chords uh, from scratch, and things like that. You can, well, I can, I can wing it because I have perfect pitch and I can hear the song and teach it to him just like that. But it does take me a little longer on this thing because I'm not as familiar with this tune differently than a guitar. But uh, on bass, even you can figure out, you know, what notes to play over chords. Simple songs like Ramones and AC/DC, uh, <clears throat> and then keep in mind also that there's a book for everything that can teach you how to play all these chords and it has all the strum patterns and everything in there, all the techniques. So you can just learn from a book. And if you're an advanced player on your main instrument, this shouldn't be too difficult for you to do. You have to spend a little money also, but I mean, this literally cost me 40 something. And I, I haven't gotten any private uke students, but at some point I might, so it's good to have around. My bass cost me less than 200 bucks. And then I've got, I already had an amp that I could plug into. It's a, I'm plugged into my Black Star right now, but it's, uh, I have an actual dedicated electric bass amp uh, that I use for that. It's a PV Viper 15. You only have to know a little bit more than the student to keep ahead of them, just enough to where that they can progress every week and just follow the book if that's all you need to do. Or just, you know, much as I don't want to, encourage too many people because I make money teaching lessons to check out YouTube. If you need to, just to get a basic understanding of how to play something, then by all means, it's there. So go for it. And also remember, all of this makes you more valuable to yourself. You have more earning power. You can get more students. And it makes you more valuable in the environment that you work in. So thanks for tuning in and watching. Please hit the bell for new videos. Subscribe, like, share. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Check out our sponsors in the description below, and we will see you next week.